ਪੰਜਾਬ ਬੀਇੰਗ ਅ ਪ੍ਰੀਡੋਮਿਨੈਂਟਲੀ ਅਗਰੇਰੀਅਨ ਇਕਨੋਮੀ ਡੇਰੀ ਫਾਰਮਿੰਗ ਪਲੇਸ ਅ ਕਰੂਸ਼ੀਅਲ ਰੋਲ ਇਨ ਸੋਸੀਓ ਇਕਨੋਮਿਕ ਡਿਵੈਲਪਮੈਂਟ ਐਂਡ ਨਿਊਟ੍ਰੀਸ਼ਨਲ ਸਿਕਿਉਰਿਟੀ ਆਫ ਰੂਰਲ ਫੈਮਿਲੀਜ਼ ਐਟ ਪ੍ਰੈਜ਼ੈਂਟ ਅਰਾਊਂਡ 6000 ਕਮਰਸ਼ੀਅਲ ਡੇਰੀ ਫਾਰਮਸ ਆਰ ਪ੍ਰੈਜ਼ੈਂਟ ਇਨ ਪੰਜਾਬ ਇਨ ਵਿਚ ਦ ਹਾਈਲਡਿੰਗ ਐਨੀਮਲਸ ਆਰ ਰੀਅਰਡ ਇਨ ਆਰਡਰ ਟੂ ਮੇਕ ਡੇਰੀ ਫਾਰਮਿੰਗ ਐਨ ਇਕਨੋਮਿਕਲੀ ਪ੍ਰੋਫਿਟੇਬਲ ਵੈਂਚਰ the management of the farm should be done scientifically in a commercial dairy farm timeliness of operations is important as some of the operations directly influence the farm profitability in this video we will show you the different routine activities of a farm dairy farm are runs round the clock 24 into 7 365 days a year several operations visualize milking feeding cleaning heat detection treatment etc run simultaneously during a day for easy understanding these activities are explained one by one milking operation at dairy farm usually starts at around 3:30 to 4 am with the washing of milk animals well before milking timeliness and duration between two milkings are important concern as it directly affects the milk production of the animals milking is done commonly twice a day in most of the dairy farm during morning and evening hours though high yielding animals can milk thrice a day milking should be conducted gently quietly quickly cleanly completely and at regular intervals in a dairy farm milking is performed either manually using hands or using machine high yielding animals are milked using machine whereas low yielding animals are milked manually prior to milking the animals udder is wiped off with a paper napkin and the first few strips of milk are taken in cmt paddle for testing of any abnormality in milk due to mastitis teats cups of milking machine are then applied to the animal udder and milking is started After milking the teats are well dipped in a teat dip solution to avoid any infection in the udder. After that in the milking parlor all the milk is stored in chilling tank immediately after milking at around 4 degree centigrade temperature to avoid any deterioration in milk quality. After milking the milking machine milking cans and buckets are thoroughly washed and kept in a stand upside down for proper drying In a large dairy farm all the milk is transported to a processing unit for pasteurization packaging and further processing to other milk products whereas in a small dairy farm milk is directly sold in loose form to either consumer or middleman or cooperative society the main purpose of the houses is to provide protection as well as comfort to the animals moreover it also facilitates the conduct of various activities such as cleaning 
washing, feeding, etc. Different type of houses are found in the dairy farm such as conventional type of houses, loose houses or a combination of both. Out of these, loose houses are best suited for our climatic conditions. The animals are housed in different sets based on their age, their sex and their status. Feeding is an important activity at the dairy farm as it accounts for around 70% of total cost of milk production. Providing balanced nutrition is the foundation for productive and profitable livestock farming. Without adequate nutrition, animals cannot express their full genetic potential nor will they be productively efficient. The feed is given to the animals usually comprises concentrate feed, green fodder and dry fodder. Dairy animals are generally allowed free access to roughages but a measured amount of concentrate feed is given to them based on their body weight for maintenance, milk production, pregnancy and growth. However, in complete feeding, both concentrate feed and roughage are mixed uniformly and then served to the animals. Feeding a total mix ration that contains all the feeds and nutrients required by the animal is an effective, efficient and profitable way to yield good results. In a dairy farm, feeding of animals is a whole day activity and it is performed by a team of workers. Feeding operations includes preparation and distribution of TMR feed, chaffing of fodder, distribution of feed and fodder to the animals of various sets. Cleaning of farm as well as animals is imperative to maintain well-being and good health of dairy farm animals. Cleaning of a dairy farm includes cleaning of sets, tractor trolleys and internal roads. The cleaning operation at a farm depends on the scale of mechanization and the type of infrastructure available. In modern sets, cleaning takes place using an automated dung scraper whereas in conventional sets with less workable area cleaning is done using sawwell manually. Tractor driven scraper is also used for cleaning of sets in few farms. This section of dairy farm is of utmost importance as future of the dairy farm lies here. The newborn young stock requires special care for a few days as they are not able to maintain their body temperature. The main activities of calf section includes proper cleaning and drying of newborn calves immediately after birth using a dry towel or a jute bag. Weighing of a newborn after birth is an important activity to fix the amount of colostrum and milk for scientific feeding of weaned calf. Young growing calves 
up to 4 month of age are commonly weighed at fortnightly intervals followed by the monthly interval weighing is an important activity followed in a dairy farm to assess the growth and health of the calves Colostrum is a thick lacteal secretion rich in maternal antibodies and energy that should be fed to the calf in adequate quantity as early as possible within 2 hours after birth for maximum absorption in the gut. Colostrum should be fed to the calf at the rate of 10% of their body weight and it is provided up to 5 days and thereafter the fresh milk or milk replacer is provided to them twice a day. The calves are fed milk or milk replacer up to 90 days of age. The milk feeding schedules are different for different farms. However, as a thumb rule, milk is fed to the calves at the rate of one tenth of the body weight in first month followed by 1 15th of the body weight in second month and 1 20th of the body weight in third month. So disinfection of navel cord is carried out by applying antiseptic solution after cutting and tying of navel cord 1 to 1.5 inches below the navel. Weaning is generally done in a commercial farm on day 1 or 0 day. So after the birth of calf, the newborn calf immediately separated from the mother. In our indigenous animals like Saiwal, Ger, Thar Parker, weaning immediately after birth is not possible because of a strong maternal instinct. Whereas in crossbed cattle, zero day weaning or weaning immediately after birth is not an issue. So marking of animals soon after birth for easy identification is an important managemental practice in a dairy farm. Although several methods of identification are followed in dairy animals, Tattooing and tagging are the most common methods. In cattle and buffaloes, ear tagging is done mostly using self-piercing plastic tags. Nowadays, in a few commercial dairy farms, for identification and monitoring of animals' activity such as rumination, feeding, walking, etc., sensor technologies are also used. This budding is the process of removing horn bud in young calves before its arousal in the skull within 10 to 15 days after birth. It is carried out either by using hot iron disbudder or chemicals. The hot iron disbudder is heated up to 1000 degree Fahrenheit and applied to the horn buds of the calf for 10 seconds to destroy the horn tissues completely. First, clip the hairs around the horn buds. Then use local anesthesia to desensitize the horn bud. Then hot iron rod is vigorously rubbed on the base of horn bud to burn it completely. After that, apply the antiseptic lotion on the rubbed area. Calf starter is a protein and energy rich concentrate feed fed to the calves starting from 10 days of age along with soft and succulent green fodder. Daily cleaning 
washing and disinfection of the calf pens application of the straw bedding in the pens especially during winters treatment of sick and ill calves regular record keeping in commercial dairy farming for breeding of animals artificial insemination is preferred over natural breeding to avoid inbreeding and introduction of a new gene pool for artificial insemination efficient and accurate detection of esters is essential inaccuracies in esters detection result in lowering the herd conception rate Increasing the frequency of observations can increase heat detection efficiency. Behavioral symptoms: teaserable parading, per rectal examination, use of pedometer, use of heat mount detector, record keeping, personal visualization, and progesterone analysis of blood or milk are the various methods of estrus detection. Those animal in estrus are inseminated using good quality elite bull semen. Pregnancy diagnosis is performed using per rectal examination at around 65 days or ultrasonography after 45 days of insemination. animals with reproductive problems such as repeat breeding retention of placenta endometritis pyometra and anestrus are treated accordingly by a trained veterinarian the activities of health section include identification and treatment of ill animals deworming and vaccination disease testing of animals against brucellosis tuberculosis and jones disease young animals up to 6 months of age are dewormed as per deworming schedule using broad spectrum anti helminthic drugs adult stock is dewormed twice a year once before monsoon season in may and june month and during monsoon in august and september month vaccination is used as a preventive measure against diseases such as brucellosis foot and mouth disease hemorrhagic septicemia and black quarter Green fodder is an economical source of nutrients for dairy animals. It helps in maintaining good health and improving breeding efficiency of animals. For economic viability of dairy farms, cultivation of fodder is always cheaper than the purchasing of fodder from the local market. Moreover, a regular supply of green fodder is essential. for better production and reproduction of animals therefore for regular supply of green fodder throughout the year season wise fodder is cultivated like the crops of ravi season such as basim lusan oat senji etc in kharif season the crops such as maize sorghum bajra etc are cultivated the routine operations of fodder fields are application of pre sowing irrigation followed by primary tillage with disc harrow then secondary tillage with cultivator after that land leveling with planker then sowing of seed with seed drill or planter 
After that, application of farmyard manure or chemicals, herbicide application, then irrigation as per the crop. When green fodders are in plenty, they are preserved as silage to meet the demand for good quality fodder during the lean season. Silage is the term used for the product farmed when green fodder is put in a silo pit where it is anaerobically fermented. Silage is a green succulent roughage preserved more or less in its original condition with minimum deterioration and minimum loss of nutritive constituents of fodder. Harvesting of mage crop at optimum stage. Chaffing of the harvested crop to increase the surface area of the crop for better enzymatic action. Filling of silo pits with chaffed mage fodder and application of bacterial inoculum in layers for better lactic acid production. Pressing of chaffed fodder for removing air to create an anaerobic condition. After that, covering of silo pit with paddy straw and a plastic seat to prevent aeration and entry of water into the silo pit. Finally, silage will be ready within 45 days. Record keeping is essential to monitor the progress of a dairy farm business. It is also important for scientific management of animals. In a commercial dairy farm, various records are maintained and these are In these slides, day-to-day -day activities of a dairy farm is given. To watch more educational videos on veterinary and animal sciences, subscribe the channel and please touch the bell icon. Guru Angadev Veterinary and Animal Sciences University, Ludhiana on YouTube.